Nusa Minggu is a district, Indonesian, Kekamata, in the administrative city of South Jakarta, Indonesia. The area is known for its traditional Sunday market, famous for the fruit market. 2. Historically, Pasar Minggu is a fruit cultivation area developed by the Dutch government during the colonial period. The central point of the cultivation area is the traditional market of Pasar Minggu, located in what is now the lower division Pasar Minggu subdistrict. Teak forest could also be found in the Pasar Minggu district, notably around the Jati Padang, Javanese for bright teak subdistrict. Most of these areas have been converted into residential areas as Jakarta grows southward. The boundary of Pasar Minggu is Kemung Selatan Road, Warung Jati Timur Road, Kalabata Timur Road to the north, Kilawang River to the east, and Crooked River to the west. The southern portion of Jakarta Outer Ring Road passed through Pasar Minggu District. The name Pasar Minggu derives from Pasar Minggu, a state-owned market located in the administrative village of the same name. The neighborhood of Pasar Minggu was, in the 17th century, an omelandan of Batavia located uphill. The land is located between the Kilawang to the east and the stream of Mampang. In the 18th century, two parcels of land in what is now the district of Pasar Minggu were recorded as the property of Diogo Morendo and Simao Rodrigo, who bought the land in mid-17th century. Three. Before 1920, market activity in the area was centered in Kampung Leo, closer to the west bank of the Kilawang. The market opened every Sunday morning, hence the name Pasa Minggu, Malay for Sunday market. Pasa Minggu mainly consisted of bamboo structured stalls. At this time, the market was also known for its gambling activities and a ronggeng performance known as Dogger. In 1920, the location of the market was shifted closer to the railway line. Chinese merchants began setting up their activity in Pasar Minggu, mainly on rice selling. In 1930, land to the west of Jalan Pasar Minggu, formerly the property of Dales, who took residence in Tanjung. West, was opened by the colonial government to establish a more permanent building for the market. The first structure built for the market was a simple steel structure topped with a zinc roof. The new market sold a variety of daily necessities e.g. clothing, as well as fruits, mostly collected from the surrounding orchards. 5. Pasa. Mingu was also set to open every day. Despite this, Pasa Mingu was still busier on Sunday. In 1931, the road connecting Pasa Mingu with Mangarai was paved, giving more access for people to Pasa Mingu. Following the expansion of the boundary of the city of Jakarta, the area of Pasa Mingu was planned as a residential area. The plan converts some of the existing orchards into residential. The present Pasa Minggu building was inaugurated by the governor of Jakarta at that time Governor Jokro Panalo in 1984. Pasa Minggu has existed since before the Japanese colonization of Malaya and Pasa Minggu was the earliest Malay business center in the capital Kuala Lumpur at that time. The initial site of Pasa Minggu was on Jalan Raja Muda Musa which started from the intersection of Jalan Daud until the end of Jalan Raja Muda Musa facing Jalan Raja Abdullah, known as Jalan Hale at that time, then moved on Jalan Raja Abdullah during the Japanese colonial period to over Malaya. In the 50s, the site of Pasa Minggu was again moved to Jalan Raja Aling, known as Jalan Perkins at the time and finally the traders of Pasar Minggu were moved to the current site and promoted by the Selangor state government at that time and PKNS in gave responsibility as a developer 
around the end of the 60s and after completion was officially commissioned by YTM Tunku Abdul Rahman Putra Al Hajj, the Prime Minister of Malaysia in April 1967. That's a little introduction about Pasa Minggu, Kilogram, New, Kuala Lumpur, Right Now Market Week, Kilogram, New Like, Hid Up Segan Mati Tak Mahu, is not because the traders do not want to run the business that has been pioneered by their grandparents before but because of the situation that does not allow the business to be run as first formalized by YTM Tunku Abdul Rahman Putra. If you want to tell it in detail, maybe two days and two nights would not be enough to tell it, but since the Malays say, Manang Sorak, Kampung Terdai, I was called to tell a little bit about the earliest Malay business area in this capital apparently. I don't know where the mistake is, we don't even know. Dinya Pasa Mingu itself was around the late 80s, around 1988-89, where we could no longer witness the influx of international or local visitors, there were no more cultural shows on. The stage of Pasa Mingu and the Rasa Sayang restaurant was no longer in operation. The Sunday market during the early 70s, until the early 80s was indeed very famous where during the early construction of the Sunday market itself had its landmark which was the gate that was built at the beginning of the transfer from Jalan Perkins to the current site and until now the landmark still remains magnificent until today and not only that, Pasamingu also has a cultural stage a tourist office and also a restaurant called Rasa Sayang, specially for international tourists who come to visit Pasa Mingu at a tourist office and also a restaurant called Rasa Sayang, specially for international tourists who come to visit Pasa Mingu at